Hey guys, it's Phoenix. Today I want to talk about Minecon Earth 2018. I know a lot of you have been expecting a new video about the Snapshot 18W15A. That will be in my next video and uh, subsequent videos because there's a lot of content there. If you have not really been paying attention, Minecon is no longer, well, it appears to be no longer a physical event. One which is more conducive to people meeting each other, becoming friends, basically one that reflects why Minecraft became so successful in the first place. This is the second time they're doing a live stream. Obviously, you can form your own opinions. I, for one, am extremely disappointed that they're doing this again. Um, you can make your arguments uh, in favor of Minecon Earth making a live stream, but I really cannot think of any positive message or theme coming out of another live stream. I'm in Australia, I'm not staying up for this crap. And secondly, the old Minecon events were also live streamed, so what the heck. So let's go through this video. I'll, I'll watch it through once with you guys, and then I will go back and react to it myself uh, so you guys can see what I think of it. So here we go. Minecon Earth is back. Bigger, better, and more craftier. Gather your favorite friends, family, and tame wolves to watch a Minecraft extravaganza on Saturday, September 29th, featuring live gameplay and real talk from the coolest crafters on the planet. Are you a creative type? Craft your own costume. Upload evidence of the awesomeness at Minecraft.net. Then submit. The best costumes will feature in the show. Are you the chatty and opinionated type? Send us your ideas for panels. Lydia Winters will be joined by some amazing community co-hosts. We'll announce them soon. And game updates. We'll be revealing what's coming to the game live on air. Learn the secrets before anyone else. So tune in for the future of Minecraft and more. Minecon Earth 2018 live stream, September 29th. Quite a bit to unpack from this video. Uh, yes, it's going to be on September 29th. You've already seen it from the homepage, um, which is quite a while away. So they haven't gone through all the details. It's probably going to be a lot more coming. If not, this is going to be a very dry convention. I don't even want to call it a convention. This will be an extremely dry live stream. Let me just scroll down here a little bit. Um, you can see what they have planned at the moment. This is just whatever. They're going to have a panel so you can share your own insights into the game. Modding panels, mini game panels, I don't know. Uh, so that's really just the gist of what we've had before. But the live stream will allow you to watch these panels, presumably. Um, and then there's going to be a costume event, and then that's it. So there can't possibly be just two things happening. They cannot fill a 90 minute live stream just having two events. They're obviously going to have uh, a moment at the end where they discuss the new updates for the game. Um, otherwise, there's just going to be two things. So more will be coming, I'm expecting. So let's go through the video again so you guys can hear my opinions on everything that's said in this video. Just bear in mind that I'm being extremely critical about this because I am not in favor of having a convention live streamed where people cannot meet each other and make uh, meaningful connections with other people. Well, based on the, the feedback from Minecon Earth 2017, I really didn't think they would do this again because the, uh, the feedback was exceptionally worse. I didn't expect people to be rebuking them so much, except that is exactly what happened. Minecon Earth is back. Bigger, better, and more craftier. I think that's just weasel words. I don't think it'll be bigger or better or craftier, more craftier, don't do that. I don't know what that means, but I'm pretty sure that's just their intro into this. So hopefully it will be bigger and better. Right now, um, they don't have the, the drive, uh, the impetus for people to watch because there's no mob vote right now. And just picking up on that, the mob vote still doesn't work for me. I don't know why mob B was chosen to be in the update aquatic because it doesn't make sense. It's completely incongruous with the theme. Let's continue. Gather your favorite friends, family, and tame wolves to watch a Minecraft extravaganza. Bring your friends to watch the live stream, okay. On Saturday, September 29th, featuring live gameplay and real talk from the coolest crafters on the- Okay, so they're going to feature live gameplay, so it's probably just uh, people coming together to play minigames. Um, they did that last time. They had uh, the YouTubers play mini games in which people just watch them. You've seen that before. You're probably bombarded by YouTubers doing this. So I think that's just repeating what happened last year. On the planet. Are you oh, also the pre-show, post-show stuff. That was my favorite part of the the, the live stream. It was it was very centered. It was very down to earth. It was just uh, mature people talking about the game and what they thought about the convention. Although that, a lot of it's just lip service. I don't think a lot of people really 
grasped Minecon Earth very well or appreciated it because it was a big letdown. Are you a creative type? Craft your own costume. Upload evidence of the awesomeness at Minecraft.net. Then submit. The best costumes will feature in the show. Okay, so there's a costume event. For lack of a better word, cringy. That's what people described it as because generally what it's like. But anyway. Are you the chatty and opinionated type? Send us your ideas for panels. Lydia Winters will... Okay, so I am a chatty and opinionated type. My opinion, please make this a physical convention. You're hearing this from pretty much everyone on the internet right now. Almost every single comment I've read, bar a few, have been, please make this a physical convention. I don't know why you're not picking up on that feedback. How can you possibly network if you're on the internet all the time? We'll be joined by some amazing community co-hosts. Okay, so not having Will Arnett on the show anymore, I'm pretty sure. That's fine. I think having Will Arnett on it didn't make sense because he doesn't really have any association with Minecraft. He was just a person who decided to volunteer to be on the show, maybe. I'm hoping that having actual people who are knowledgeable about the game might help boost the credibility of this live stream. We'll announce them soon. And game updates. We'll be revealing what's coming to the game live on air. Yep, so that's pretty much going to be the only reason why people are going to watch. Learn the secrets before anyone else. Okay, not really. So tune in for the future of Minecraft and more. Minecon Earth 2018 livestream, September 29th. That seems to be a very condensed uh, summary of what's going to happen. I don't think there is any real reason why people would be tuning in. Um, the mob vote was perhaps the biggest reason why people watched last time. I don't know if there's going to be any reason why people would tune in. Um, maybe just to hear about the update, but that's going to be posted on Reddit or internet or something. Be that as it may, um, I'm not looking forward to this. I'm going to be talking about it anyway. And if these are the only things we're getting, it's going to be a massive letdown again. So uh, those are my thoughts. Um, I'm being brutally honest about it, and I think Mojang just needs to hear us out. Uh, you're getting tons of people telling you as in the feedback section of Minecon Earth to make this a physical convention and you haven't listened. I haven't really heard much from the other small conventions uh, that you said are going to take over Minecon. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content and news updates. Take care.